Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves before we surrender our worries. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, feeling your body relax from head to toe. Imagine tension melting away with each exhale. Now, focus on your natural breath. There's no need to force it, just let it flow freely. As you breathe, feel yourself becoming centered and present. With each inhale, breathe in God's peace and presence. With each exhale, release any anxieties that may be weighing on you. Now, nestled in God's love, let's begin our prayer together. Matthew 16, verse 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Revelation 1, verse 18. And the living one. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore and I have the keys of death and Hades. Isaiah 22, verse 22. And I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. Revelation 3, verse 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, The words of the Holy One, the True One, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. Luke 11 verse 52 Woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. Revelation 20 verse 1 Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. Revelation 9 verse 1 and the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth, and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. Matthew 18 verse 18 Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Judges 3 verse 25 And they waited till they were embarrassed. But when he still did not open the doors of the roof chamber, they took the key and opened them, and there lay their Lord dead on the floor. Matthew 23, verse 13. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. For you neither enter yourselves nor allow those who would enter to go in. Philippians 4, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. Matthew 16 verse 18 And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew 6, verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, 
and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Luke 1 verse 37 For nothing will be impossible with God. 1 Chronicles 9 verse 27 And they lodged around the house of God, for on them lay the duty of watching, and they had charge of opening it every morning. John 20 verse 23 If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Matthew 13 verse 52 And he said to them, Therefore every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house, who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. Acts 14 verse 27 And when they arrived and gathered the church together, they declared all that God had done with them and how he had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Matthew 7 verses 7 to 8 Ask and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Revelation 3 verse 8 I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11 Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Revelation 11 verses 1 to 19 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. Revelation 1 verse 1 
The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 Call to me and I will answer you, and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Proverbs 3 verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Hebrews 4 verse 12 For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Jeremiah 31 verse 31 Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Revelation 1 verses 1 to 20 The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. 
He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Revelation 4 verse 1 after this I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice, which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. Romans 12 verses 1 to 2 I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. John 10 verse 9 I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 12 When I came to Troas to preach the gospel of Christ, even though a door was open for me in the Lord. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. Acts 16 verses 6 to 7 And they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. And when they had come up to Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. John 16 verse 33 I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 8 This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Matthew 5 verse 16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Micah 6 verse 8 He has told you, O man, 
what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Psalm 119 verse 11 I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Romans 5 verse 8 But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13 So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20 Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Galatians 5 verse 22 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Hebrews 13 verse 5 Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Colossians 3 verse 14 And above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. Matthew 5 verse 3 Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Joshua 24 verse 15 And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your fathers served in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. 1 John 4 verse 16 So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And whoever abides in love abides in God, 
and God abides in him. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Romans 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. John 3 verses 16 to 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Matthew 7 verse 12 So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. James 5 verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 For we walk by faith, not by sight. Acts 4 verse 12 And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Matthew 25 verse 41 then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. James 1 verse 22 But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 4 verse 2 With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. John 3 verse 5 Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, 
unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Matthew 7 verse 24 Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Jeremiah 33 verse 17 For thus says the Lord, David shall never lack a man to sit on the throne of the house of Israel. Revelation 12 verse 11 And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 Pray without ceasing. Romans 13 verse 8 Own no one anything, except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. Proverbs 11 verse 13 Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy in spirit keeps a thing covered. James 2 verse 19 You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Hebrews 1 verse 3 he is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature, and he upholds the universe by the word of his power. After making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Ephesians 6 verse 4 Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Mark 11 verses 22 to 24 And Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Matthew 21 verses 21 to 22 And Jesus answered them, Truly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29 Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. 
Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. Hebrews 9 verse 27 And just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment. 1 John 4 verse 2 By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 5 verse 7 The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am going another steps down before me. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3 verse 3 Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 1 verse 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Luke 16 verses 19 to 31 there was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate was laid a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, even the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried, and in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. Mark 16 verse 19 so then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. Matthew 25 verse 41 Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Matthew 4 verse 4 But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Isaiah 3 verses 1 to 26 For behold, the Lord God of hosts is taking away from Jerusalem and from Judah support and supply, all support of bread, and all support of water, the mighty man and the soldier, the judge and the prophet, the diviner and the elder, the captain of fifty and the man of rank, 
the counselor and the skillful magician and the expert in charms. And I will make boys their princes, and infants shall rule over them. And the people will oppress one another, every one his fellow, and every one his neighbor. The youth will be insolent to the elder, and the despised to the honorable. First Chronicles 2 verses 1 to 55. These are the sons of Israel. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. The sons of Judah, Er, Onan, and Shelah. These three Bathshua the Canaanite bore to him. Now Er, Judah's firstborn, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he put him to death. His daughter-in-law Tamar also bore him Perez and Zerah. Judah had five sons in all, the sons of Perez, Hezron, and Hamel. Second Kings 24 verse 8 Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he became king, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehushta, the daughter of Elmethan of Jerusalem. 2 Kings 23 verse 2 And the king went up to the house of the Lord, and with him all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem and the priests and the prophets, all the people, both small and great. And he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant that had been found in the house of the Lord. 2 Kings 19 verses 1 to 37. As soon as King Hezekiah heard it, he tore his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the secretary, and the senior priests, covered with sackcloth, to the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos. They said to him, Thus says Hezekiah, This day is a day of distress, of rebuke, and of disgrace. Children have come to the point of birth and there is no strength to bring them forth. It may be that the Lord your God heard all the words of the Rabshake, whom his master the king of Assyria has sent to mock the living God, and will rebuke the words that the Lord your God has heard. Therefore lift up your prayer for the remnant that is left. When the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, Genesis 1 verse 1 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Revelation 22 verses 18 to 19 I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. Revelation 22 verse 18 I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. Revelation 22 verse 15 Outside are the dogs and sorcerers and the sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Revelation 21 verse 8 
But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Revelation 20 verses 14 to 15 Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 verse 14 then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. Revelation 19 verse 20 And the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who in its presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped its image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. Revelation 6 verse 8 And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed him. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth, to kill with sword, and with famine, and with pestilence, and by wild beasts of the earth. Revelation 4 verses 1 to 11 After this I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice, which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne stood in heaven, with one seated on the throne. And he who sat there had the appearance of jasper and carnelian, and around the throne was a rainbow that had the appearance of an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and seated on the thrones were twenty-four elders, clothed in white garments, with golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, and rumblings and peals of thunder, and before the throne were burning seven torches of fire, which are the seven spirits of God. Jude 1 verse 9 But when the archangel Michael contending with the devil, was disputing about the body of Moses, he did not presume to pronounce a blasphemous judgment, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Jude 1 verse 7 Just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities which likewise indulged in sexual immorality and pursued unnatural desire, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. Jude 1 verses 6 to 7 And the angels who did not stay within their own position of authority, but left their proper dwelling, he is kept in eternal chains under gloomy darkness until the judgment of the great day just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, which likewise indulged in sexual immorality and pursued unnatural desire, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. 1 John 5 verse 7 For there are three that testify. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, 
but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 John 2 verses 1 to 29 My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. Whoever says I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. 2 Peter 3 verse 16 As he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters, there are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. 2 Peter 2 verse 4 for if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to chains of gloomy darkness to be kept until the judgment. 2 Peter 1 verse 21 For no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. 2 Peter 1 verse 20 Knowing this first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture comes from someone's own interpretation. 1 Peter 2 verse 17 Honor everyone. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the emperor. 1 Peter 2 verses 1 to 25 So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, yourselves like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. James 1 verse 22 but be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. James 1 verse 13 Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. Hebrews 13 verse 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 9 verse 24 For Christ has entered, not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Hebrews 1 verse 8 But of the Son he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom. 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 but understand this, 
that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 15 First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions and thanksgivings be made for all people for kings and all who are in high positions that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life godly and dignified in every way this is good and it is pleasing in the sight of god our savior who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth for there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 9 They will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction, away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might. 2 Thessalonians 1 verses 1 to 12 Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought always to give thanks to God for you, brothers, as is right, because your faith is growing abundantly and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. Therefore we ourselves boast about you in the churches of God for your steadfastness and faith in all your persecutions and in the afflictions that you are enduring. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are also suffering. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Colossians 1 verse 17 And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Colossians 1 verse 16 For by him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities all things were created through him and for him. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 10 For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Galatians 5 verse 6 For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. Galatians 4 verse 4 But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of woman, born under the law. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 55. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? 1 Corinthians 2, verses 1 to 16. 
And I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling, and my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Romans 10 verse 17 So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. Romans 8 verse 28 and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Acts 4 verse 12 And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2 verse 29 Brothers, I may say to you with confidence about the patriarch David that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Acts 1 verse 3 He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. John 19 verses 1 to 42 Then Pilate took Jesus and flogged him, and the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head and arrayed him in a purple robe. They came up to him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and struck him with their hands. Pilate went out again and said to them, See, I am bringing him out to you that you may know that I find no guilt in him. So Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Behold the man. John 12 verse 14 And Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written. John 8 verse 44 You are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. John 7 verses 1 to 53 After this Jesus went about in Galilee. He would not go about in Judea, because the Jews were seeking to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of booths was at hand. So his brothers said to him, Leave here and go to Judea, that your disciples also may see the works you are doing. For no one works in secret if he seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers believed in him. John 3 verses 1 to 36 Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, 
for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. John 1 verse 14 And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Luke 24 verse 51 While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. Luke 19 verse 35 and they brought it to Jesus, and throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. Luke 16 verse 23 And in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes, and saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus at his side. Luke 16 verse 22. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. Luke 16 verses 1 to 31. He also said to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought to him that this man was wasting his possessions. And he called him and said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Turn in the account of your management, for you can no longer be manager. And the manager said to himself, What shall I do, since my master is taking the management away from me? I am not strong enough to dig and I am ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do, so that when I am removed from management, people may receive me into their houses. So, summoning his master's debtors one by one, he said to the first, How much do you owe my master? Luke 13 verse 3 No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Luke 12 verse 5 But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he is killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Luke 11 verse 44 Woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves, and people walk over them without knowing it. Luke 3 verse 17 His winnowing fork is in his hand, to clear his threshing floor, and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Luke 1 verses 1 to 4 Inasmuch as many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the things that have been accomplished among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word have delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having followed all things closely for some time past, to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, that you may have certainty concerning the things you have been taught. Mark 16 verse 16 
Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Mark 16 verses 1 to 20 When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices, so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. And they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were alarmed. Mark 11, verse 7. And they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Mark 10, verse 18. And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. Mark 9, verse 35. And he sat down and called the twelve. And he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. Matthew 28, verse 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, verse 18. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Matthew 28, verse 9. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Matthew 25, verse 46. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Matthew 25, verse 30. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 24, verse 51. And will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 24, verse 37. For as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Matthew 23, verse 15. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you travel across sea and land to make a single proselyte, and when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Matthew 22, verse 30. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. Matthew 22, verse 13. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot, and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 18, verse 9. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. Matthew 18, verse 8. 
And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. Matthew 13 verse 50 And throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 13 verse 42 And throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Ephesians 5 verse 4 Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Leviticus 19 verse 18 You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. 1 John 5 verse 7 For there are three that testify. John 3 verses 1 to 10 Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. 2 Peter 3 verses 1 to 18 This is now the second letter that I am writing to you, beloved. In both of them I am stirring up your sincere mind by way of reminder that you should remember the predictions of the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior through your apostles, knowing this first of all, that scoffers will come in the last days with scoffing, following their own sinful desires. They will say, where is the promise of his coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all things are continuing as they were from the beginning of creation. For they deliberately overlook this fact, that the heavens existed long ago, and the earth was formed out of water and through water by the word of God. Proverbs 26 verses 18 to 19 Like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I am only joking. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3 While people are saying, there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. Hebrews 13 verse 4 Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. 
Acts 2 verses 1 to 47. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. Matthew 24 verses 1 to 51 Jesus left the temple and was going away when his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Truly, I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. Isaiah 40 verse 22 It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to dwell in. Isaiah 7 verse 14 Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Isaiah 61 verses 1 to 11 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise, instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Strangers shall stand and tend your flocks. Foreigners shall be your plowmen and vine dressers. Genesis 12 verses 1 to 20. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was seventy-five years old when he departed from Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the people that they had acquired in Haran, and they set out to go to the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Genesis 1 verse 28 
and God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Zechariah 8 verse 5 And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in its streets. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Luke 18 verses 16 to 17 But Jesus called them to him, saying, Let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. Proverbs 10 verse 1 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is a sorrow to his mother. Matthew 19 verse 14 But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Proverbs 19 verses 12 to 20 a king's wrath is like the growling of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish son is ruined to his father, and a wife's quarreling is a continual dripping of rain. House and wealth are inherited from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casts into a deep sleep and an idle person will suffer hunger. Whoever keeps the commandment keeps his life. He who despises his ways will die. Genesis 50 verse 21 So do not fear, I will provide for you and your little ones. Thus he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Proverbs 22, verse 15. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline drives it far from him. Proverbs 29, verses 1 to 27. He who is often reproved, yet stiffens his neck, will suddenly be broken beyond healing. When the righteous increase, the people rejoice, but when the wicked rule, the people groan. He who loves wisdom makes his father glad, but a companion of prostitutes squanders his wealth. By justice a king builds up the land, but he who exacts gifts tears it down. A man who flatters his neighbor spreads a net for his feet. Proverbs 20 verses 1 to 30. Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. The terror of a king is like the growling of a lion. Whoever provokes him to anger forfeits his life. It is an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife, but every fool will be quarreling. The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. The purpose in a man's heart is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. 2 Kings 22 verses 1 to 20 Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign and he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. 
His mother's name was Jedida, the daughter of Adea of Bosketh. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, and walked in all the way of David his father. And he did not turn aside to the right or to the left. In the eighteenth year of King Josiah, the king sent Shaphan the son of Azaliah, son of Meshullam, the secretary, to the house of the Lord, saying, Go up to Hilkiah the high priest, that he may count the money that has been brought into the house of the Lord, which the keepers of the threshold have collected from the people, and let it be given into the hand of the workmen who have the oversight of the house of the Lord, and let them give it to the workmen who are at the house of the Lord, repairing the house. 1 John 3 verse 15 Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Exodus 20 verse 13 You shall not murder. Matthew 10 verse 28 and do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Romans 13 verse 10 Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Malachi 3 verse 6 for I the Lord do not change, therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. John 10 verse 10 The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Genesis 3 verse 16 To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. Genesis 9 verses 1 to 29 And God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every bird of the heavens, upon everything that creeps on the ground and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything, but you shall not eat flesh with its life, that is, its blood. And for your lifeblood I will require a reckoning. From every beast I will require it, and from man. From his fellow man I will require a reckoning for the life of man. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 19 if in Christ we have hope in this life only, we are of all people most to be pitted. John 3 verse 10 Jesus answered him, Are you the teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 68 and if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, 
The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Exodus 21 verses 24 to 25 Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Acts 16 verses 1 to 40 Paul came also to Derb and to Lystra. A disciple was there, named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brothers at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those places for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went on their way through the cities, they delivered to them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. Luke 19 verses 27 to 28 but as for these enemies of mine, who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slaughter them before me. And when he had said these things, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. Job 3 verse 16 Or why was I not as a hidden stillborn child, as infants who never see the light? 1 Samuel 15 verse 3 Now go and strike Amalek and devote to destruction all that they have. Do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, child and infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. Deuteronomy 2 verse 34 and we captured all his cities at that time and devoted to destruction every city, men, women, and children. We left no survivors. Numbers 15,32-35 While the people of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man gathering sticks on the Sabbath day. And those who found him gathering sticks brought him to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation. They put him in custody because it had not been made clear what should be done to him. And the Lord said to Moses, The man shall be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones outside the camp. Leviticus 20 verse 13 If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. Genesis 3 verses 1 to 24 now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. 
He said to the woman, Did God actually say, You shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Genesis 1 verse 26 Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Genesis 1 verses 1 to 31. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 13 Food is meant for the stomach, and the stomach for food and God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Romans 13 verse 4 For he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hosea 13 verse 16 Samaria shall bear her guilt, because she has rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword. Their little ones shall be dashed in pieces, and their pregnant women ripped open. 2 Kings 8 verse 12 And Hazel said, Why does my Lord weep? He answered, Because I know the evil that you will do to the people of Israel. You will set on fire their fortresses, and you will kill their young men with the sword and dash in pieces their little ones and rip open their pregnant women. Numbers 31 colon 3 So Moses spoke to the people, saying, Arm men from among you for the war, that they may go against Midian to execute the Lord's vengeance on Midian. Numbers 25,4-9 And the Lord said to Moses, Take all the chiefs of the people and hang them in the sun before the Lord, that the fierce anger of the Lord may turn away from Israel. And Moses said to the judges of Israel, Each of you kill those of his men who have yoked themselves to Baal of Peor. And behold, one of the people of Israel came and brought a Midianite woman to his family in the sight of Moses and in the sight of the whole congregation of the people of Israel, while they were weeping in the entrance of the tent of meeting. 
When Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose and left the congregation and took a spear in his hand and went after the man of Israel into the chamber and pierced both of them, the man of Israel and the woman through her belly. Thus the plague on the people of Israel was stopped. Numbers 1 colon 3 From 20 years old and upward, all in Israel who are able to go to war, you and Aaron shall list them, company by company. Leviticus 26 verses 1 to 46 You shall not make idols for yourselves or erect an image or a pillar, and you shall not set up a figured stone in your land to bow down to it, for I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If you walk in my statutes and observe my commandments and do them, then I will give you your rains in their season, and the land shall yield its increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall last to the time of the grape harvest, and the grape harvest shall last to the time for sowing. And you shall eat your bread to the full and dwell in your land securely. Exodus 22 verses 2 to 3 If a thief is found breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there shall be no blood guilt for him. But if the sun has risen on him, there shall be blood guilt for him. He shall surely pay. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. Exodus 21 verses 22 to 25 When men strive together and hit a pregnant woman, so that her children come out, but there is no harm, the one who hit her shall surely be fined as the woman's husband shall impose on him, and he shall pay as the judges determine. But if there is harm, then you shall pay life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. Genesis 9 verses 5 to 6 And for your lifeblood I will require a reckoning. From every beast I will require it, and from man. From his fellow man I will require a reckoning for the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. Genesis 6 verses 1 to 22 When man began to multiply on the face of the land and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive, and they took as their wives any they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be one hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of man, and they bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Genesis 2 verse 7 Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. Leviticus 24 verse 21 
Whoever kills an animal shall make it good, and whoever kills a person shall be put to death. Genesis 9 verse 3 Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. Proverbs 12 verse 10 Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast, but the mercy of the wicked is cruel. Genesis 1 verse 26 Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Genesis 1 verses 29 to 30 And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. Isaiah 66 verse 3 he who slaughters an ox is like one who kills a man. He who sacrifices a lamb, like one who breaks a dog's neck. He who presents a grain offering, like one who offers pig's blood. He who makes a memorial offering of frankincense, like one who blesses an idol. These have chosen their own ways and their soul delights in their abominations. Isaiah 11 verses 6 to 9 The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the wean child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Exodus 20 verse 13 You shall not murder. Deuteronomy 25 verse 4 You shall not muzzle an ox when it is treading out the grain. Ecclesiastes 3 verses 18 to 22 I said in my heart with regard to the children of man that God is testing them that they may see that they themselves are but beasts. For what happens to the children of man and what happens to the beasts is the same. As one dies, so dies the other. They all have the same breath, and man has no advantage over the beasts, for all is vanity. All go to one place. All are from the dust, and to dust all return. Who knows whether the spirit of man goes upward, and the spirit of the beast goes down into the earth. So I saw that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his work, for that is his lot. Who can bring him to see what will be after him? Proverbs 6 verse 17 Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Job 12 verses 7 to 10 But ask the beasts, 
and they will teach you, the birds of the heavens, and they will tell you, or the bushes of the earth, and they will teach you, and the fish of the sea will declare to you. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. Leviticus 11 verse 9 These you may eat of all that are in the waters. Everything in the waters that has fins and scales whether in the seas or in the rivers, you may eat. Genesis 9 verses 1 to 29 And God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every bird of the heavens, upon everything that creeps on the ground and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. But you shall not eat flesh with its life, that is, its blood. And for your lifeblood I will require a reckoning. From every beast I will require it, and from man. From his fellow man I will require a reckoning for the life of man. 2 Peter 2 verse 12 But these, like irrational animals, creatures of instinct, born to be caught and destroyed, blaspheming about matters of which they are ignorant, will also be destroyed in their destruction. Exodus 21 verses 22 to 25 When men strive together and hit a pregnant woman so that her children come out, but there is no harm, the one who hit her shall surely be fined, as the woman's husband shall impose on him and he shall pay as the judges determine. But if there is harm, then you shall pay life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. Matthew 6 verse 26 Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Genesis 9 verses 5 to 6 And for your lifeblood I will require a reckoning. From every beast I will require it, and from man. From his fellow man, I will require a reckoning for the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Matthew 10 verse 29 Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. Deuteronomy 22 verses 6 to 7 If you come across a bird's nest in any tree or on the ground, with young ones or eggs, and the mother sitting on the young or on the eggs, you shall not take the mother with the young. You shall let the mother go, but the young you may take for yourself, that it may go well with you, and that you may live long. Exodus 23 verse 5 
If you see the donkey of one who hates you lying down under its burden, you shall refrain from leaving him with it. You shall rescue it with him. Genesis 1 verses 1 to 31. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Genesis 9 verses 2 to 3 The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every bird of the heavens, upon everything that creeps on the ground, and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Exodus 21 verse 12 Whoever strikes a man so that he dies shall be put to death. Revelation 21 verse 8 but as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Proverbs 27 verse 23 Know well the condition of your flocks, and give attention to your herds. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 9 For it is written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle an ox when it treads out the grain. Is it for oxen that God is concerned? Romans 13 verses 8 to 10 Owe oh, no one anything, except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment, are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Luke 1 verse 37 For nothing will be impossible with God. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Leviticus 20 verse 10 
If a man commits adultery with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. 1 Peter 1 verses 19 to 21 But with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot, he was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for the sake of you who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Romans 13 verse 9 For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment, are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Romans 13 verse 4 For he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Luke 14 verse 5 And he said to them, Which of you, having a son or an ox that has fallen into a well on a Sabbath day, will not immediately pull him out? Hosea 13 verse 16 Samaria shall bear her guilt, because she has rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword. Their little ones shall be dashed in pieces, and their pregnant women ripped open. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 There are six things that the Lord hates. Seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. 1 Samuel 15 verse 3 Now go and strike Amalek and devote to destruction all that they have. Do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, child and infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. Deuteronomy 5 verse 17 You shall not murder. Genesis 1 verse 30 And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. Proverbs 12 verse 27 Whoever is slothful will not roast his game, but the diligent man will get precious wealth. Leviticus 11 verses 1 to 3 And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying to them, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, These are the living things that you may eat among all the animals that are on the earth. Whatever parts the hoof and is cloven-footed and chews the cud, among the animals you may eat. Exodus 23 verse 12 Six days you shall do your work, but on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your donkey may have rest, and the son of your servant woman and the alien may be refreshed. 
Genesis 3 verses 1 to 24. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say, You shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Revelation 22 verse 15 Outside are the dogs and sorcerers and the sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Acts 10 verse 13 And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Matthew 10 verses 29 to 31 Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Matthew 5 verse 21 you have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. Leviticus 20 verse 13 If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. Genesis 9 verse 6 Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. James 4 verse 2 You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. Luke 12 verse 6 Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? And not one of them is forgotten before God. Mark 7 verse 19 Since it enters not his heart, but his stomach, and is expelled, Thus he declared all foods clean. Leviticus 20 verse 27 A man or a woman who is a medium or a necromancer shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Exodus 23 verse 7 Keep far from a false charge, and do not kill the innocent and righteous, for I will not acquit the wicked. Exodus 22 verse 19 Whoever lies with an animal shall be put to death. Exodus 12 verses 29 to 30 at midnight the Lord struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of the livestock. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants, and all the Egyptians. And there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was not a house where someone was not dead. 
Genesis 9 verse 2. The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every bird of the heavens, upon everything that creeps on the ground and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Genesis 9 verses 1 to 3. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every bird of the heavens, upon everything that creeps on the ground and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. Genesis 3 verse 21 And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skins and clothed them. Genesis 1 verses 26 to 28 Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis 1 verse 21 so God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. 1 John 3 verse 15 Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. 1 Peter 4 verse 15 But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or as a meddler. Colossians 2 verse 16 Therefore let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink or with regard to a festival or a new moon or a Sabbath. Matthew 10 verse 28 And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Ecclesiastes 3 verses 18 to 21. I said in my heart with regard to the children of man that God is testing them that they may see that they themselves are but beasts. For what happens to the children of man and what happens to the beasts is the same. As one dies, so dies the other. They all have the same breath, and man has no advantage over the beasts, for all is vanity. All go to one place. All are from the dust, and to dust all return. Who knows whether the spirit of man goes upward and the spirit of the beast goes down into the earth. 
Psalm 50 verses 10 to 11. For every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the hills, and all that moves in the field is mine. Deuteronomy 22 verse 10. You shall not plow with an ox and a donkey together. Deuteronomy 19 verses 11 to 12. But if anyone hates his neighbor and lies in wait for him and attacks him and strikes him fatally so that he dies and he flees into one of these cities, then the elders of his city shall send and take him from there and hand him over to the avenger of blood so that he may die. Leviticus 24 verse 17 Whoever takes a human life shall surely be put to death. Exodus 22 verses 2 to 3 If a thief is found breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there shall be no blood guilt for him. But if the sun has risen on him, there shall be blood guilt for him. He shall surely pay. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. Exodus 21 verse 28 When an ox gores a man or a woman to death, the ox shall be stoned, and its flesh shall not be eaten. But the owner of the ox shall not be liable. Exodus 21 verse 14 But if a man willfully attacks another to kill him by cunning, you shall take him from my altar, that he may die. Genesis 9 verse 4 But you shall not eat flesh with its life, that is, its blood. Genesis 6 verse 19 And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Genesis 4 verse 8 Cain spoke to Abel his brother, and when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. Genesis 2 verses 19 to 20 Now out of the ground the Lord God had formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature that was its name. The man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper fit for him. Genesis 1 verse 28 And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis 1 verse 24 And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kind livestock and creeping things and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. Revelation 9 verses 1 to 3 And the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth, and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit, and from the shaft rose smoke like the smoke of a great furnace, 
and the sun and the air were darkened with the smoke from the shaft. Then from the smoke came locusts on the earth, and they were given power like the power of scorpions of the earth. Romans 14 verse 3 Let not the one who eats despise the one who abstains, and let not the one who abstains pass judgment on the one who eats, for God has welcomed him. Acts 10 verse 11 And saw the heavens opened and something like a great sheet descending, being let down by its four corners upon the earth. Acts 10 verses 1 to 48 At Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of what was known as the Italian cohort a devout man who feared God with all his household, gave alms generously to the people, and prayed continually to God. About the ninth hour of the day he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God come in and say to him, Cornelius. And he stared at him in terror and said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, your prayers and your alms have ascended as a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa and bring one Simon, who is called Peter. Matthew 26 verses 52 to 54 Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place. For all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then should the scriptures be fulfilled, that it must be so? Psalm 36 verse 6 Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast you save, O Lord. Deuteronomy 19 verse 4 This is the provision for the manslayer, who by fleeing there may save his life. If anyone kills his neighbor unintentionally without having hated him in the past, Exodus 21 verses 28 to 35 When an ox gores a man or a woman to death, the ox shall be stoned, and its flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall not be liable. But if the ox has been accustomed to gore in the past, and its owner has been warned but has not kept it in, and it kills a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned, and its owner also shall be put to death. If a ransom is imposed on him, then he shall give for the redemption of his life whatever is imposed on him. If it gores a man's son or daughter, he shall be dealt with according to this same rule. If the ox gores a slave, Male or female, the owner shall give to their master thirty shekels of silver, and the ox shall be stoned. Genesis 6 verse 7 So the Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heavens, for I am sorry that I have made them. Genesis 1 verse 27 So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 for our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, 
so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Romans 12 verse 19 Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Matthew 9 verse 13 Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Matthew 4 verse 11 Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. 1 Samuel 17 verses 34 to 36 But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep sheep for his father. And when there came a lion or a bear and took a lamb from the flock, I went after him and struck him and delivered it out of his mouth. And if he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and killed him. Your servant has struck down both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, for he has defied the armies of the living God. Exodus 20 verse 10 But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, you or your son, or your daughter, your male servant, or your female servant, or your livestock, or the sojourner who is within your gates. Revelation 1 verses 1 to 20 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, Grace to you and peace from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. 3 John 1 verse 4 I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. James 1 verses 19 to 21 Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. James 2 verse 19 You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 to 13 If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. 
And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Titus 3 verse 5 He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Romans 12 verse 10 Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Nehemiah 13 verse 14 Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this, and do not wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for his service. Romans 11 verses 19 to 22. Then you will say, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief, but you stand fast through faith. So do not become proud, but fear. For if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. Note then the kindness and the severity of God, severity toward those who have fallen, but God's kindness to you, provided you continue in his kindness. Otherwise you too will be cut off. Acts 2 verse 32 This Jesus God raised up, and of that we all are witnesses. James 1 verse 27 Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Nehemiah 5 verse 19 Remember for my good, O oh my God, all that I have done for this people. Colossians 3 verse 12 Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. John 6 verses 50 to 71 
This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Psalm 51 verses 1 to 19 To the choir master A Psalm of David When Nathan the prophet went to him After he had gone into Bathsheba Have mercy on me, O God According to your steadfast love According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Nehemiah 13 verse 31 And I provided for the wood offering at appointed times, and for the first fruits. Remember me, O oh my God, for good. Revelation 5 verses 1 to 14 Then I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And one of the elders said to me, Weep no more. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. 3 John 1 verses 1 to 15 The elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you, and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. For I rejoiced greatly when the brothers came and testified to your truth, as indeed you are walking in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Beloved, it is a faithful thing you do in all your efforts for these brothers, strangers as they are. 2 John 1 verses 1 to 13 The elder to the elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all who know the truth, because of the truth that abides in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us. From God the Father and from Jesus Christ, Christ the Father's Son, in truth and love. I rejoiced greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. And now I ask you, dear lady, not as though I were writing you a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning that we love one another. James 3 verses 1 to 18 
Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For we all stumble in many ways. And if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also, though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 5 verse 9 Since, therefore, we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. Proverbs 13 verse 10 By insolence comes nothing but strife, but with those who take advice is wisdom. 1 John 2 verse 1 My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. James 4 verse 11 Do not speak evil against one another, brothers. The one who speaks against a brother or judges his brother speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law but a judge. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Galatians 5 verse 22 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, Faithfulness. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 58. Now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Romans 11 verse 6 but if it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works. Otherwise, grace would no longer be grace. Romans 10 verse 13 For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 8 verse 28 and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. 
Romans 5 verse 10. For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. Acts 24 verse 15 Having a hope in God, which these men themselves accept, that there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. Acts 17 verse 31 Because he has fixed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed, and of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. Acts 16 verse 31 And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Acts 13 verse 48 And when the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord, and as many as were appointed to eternal life believed. Acts 13 verse 38 Let it be known to you therefore, brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. Acts 3 verse 21 Whom heaven must receive until the time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets long ago. Acts 3 verse 20 that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus. Acts 3 verse 19 Repent therefore and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out. Acts 2 verse 38 and Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2 verses 36 to 38 Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. John 15 verse 14 You are my friends if you do what I command you. John 6 verse 47 Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. John 6 verse 29 Jesus answered them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. John 5 verse 28 Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice. John 5 verse 24 Truly, truly, I say to you, Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Luke 24 verse 25 And he said to them, 
O oh, foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Mark 6 verse 3 Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary and brother of James and Hoses and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Matthew 7 verse 7 Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Isaiah 64 verse 6 We have all become like one who is unclean and all our righteous deeds are like a polluted garment. We all fade like a leaf and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. Proverbs 28 verse 13 Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy.